Do you have any racist family members? Yeah. No. <laughs> Do you? Uh, I might. How so? Uh, <laughs> I think sometimes my one side of my family might be a little bit sketchy. Which like, side? Uh, my dad's side. <laughs> well, that's the only side I ever see. My mom's side. Wow. My mom's the side hell lives just in Brazil. Oh my god. Oh shit. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, here's something funny I just remember from my like childhood. I don't know what I was talking to my mom about. It was just somehow brought up. Like porn was somehow brought up. It wasn't like I got caught. It was just like on the topic, and she was like, "Oh, by the way, Devin, I just remember this very specifically." She said, "Don't ever get into that because it costs money." And I was like, "In fourth grade, I was like, you Mom, fool. <laughs> you are a goon. <laughs> you have no clue." If only you knew. Give me a hypothetical. Okay, Davis. So one day you're walking down the street. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's a strange man, right? Yeah. Man, so strange that, quite frankly, he's foul to look at. And you try to avoid this man, but like, he's walking the opposite way as you, towards you. You're walking towards him. You take a step to the left. He takes a step to his right. You take a step to your right. He takes a step to his left. You guys are facing each other this whole time, and you're scared of the inevitable that you will walk towards him and run into him, or have to just merely like. Smell his scent. Speak up. What do you do? What? <laughs> uh, That's it. There's got to be more than that. Okay. If I'm, I'm walking towards a man. It'll. <laughs> wow. It'll proceed as you answer. Okay, it's so like I continue. I, I, I stay strong. We continue on our. I, I continue on my path. You're five feet away from him. You guys will at this rate run into each other. Do you take a step away? Or do you run into him? <laughs> of course I'm gonna, like, move my body. Like... He moves his body the same way you run into him. What do you say? I say sorry. He says, Unforgive that, that is unforgivable of you. Um, how do you respond? I don't know. <laughs> so you say nothing? I say, what kind, why, why have you done this to me? What have I done to deserve this situation of awkwardness? He says, Davis, I know what you did. I say, what would that be? You know it. Uh. <laughs> that reminds me this morning, I was like half asleep, and my mom was a. Uh, like, she She's walked a into devil, my room. I've come she, to kill you. <laughs> she walked into my room and said, I know what you did, and walked out. And I was half asleep, and I was like, what? <laughs> I was seriously like, what the fuck? And I went back to sleep and I, w and I woke up again what? like a little later. What am I supposed to do there? Um, I remembered it and I was like, what was she talking about? Like, she, she said, I know what you did that one. <laughs> she seriously said that. Like, walked in, said it, and left. And I was like, what? And then I asked her this morning, and she, like, one of them, like, probably more like afternoon because I slept in, and she was just like, oh, I was talking to Luna because she slept on the couch. And I was like, okay. <laughs> She walks into my room because my dog sleeps in the same room as me and says, ah. I know what you did, like, I know what you did last night or something. I was like, what did I do? Okay, so what happened? What does this man do? He pulls out a weapon that you cannot recognize, yet it seems familiar. He plunges towards you, stabs you through the skull. <laughs> yet it doesn't hurt. Instead, you feel a sense of joyfulness. <laughs> what do you say? I say, what, what's happening? You just stabbed me through the skull, yet I feel a sense of joyfulness. This is, this is what it's like to be re released into the beyond. This is what it's like to chew five gum. <laughs> he then gives you a stick of five gum, except it's a type that shocks you and grab it out. <laughs> God damn it. That was his ultimate goal. You are now dead. And it was time for your final moments. Wow. We're very energetic right now, if you couldn't tell. Devin. What? What is your favorite kind of woman? What is it? What is what is the best? What, really want to get what, this? what is the peak <laughs> woman evolution? Figure of beauty in your mind. <laughs> what, what is the most attractive feature possible? Can I draw for a it woman? right there? Where? I'm fucking drawing. I, no one's gonna be able to see it. Just say it. Okay. Just describe it. I'll draw it in my mind. Okay. Obviously, blonde hair, blue eyes. Mm -hmm. um, you can guess its ethnicity. Uh, shoulders wider than her hips. Uh, like, probably, like, a very broad, very muscular. Like, I need a gym partner, you know? Yeah, uh, I see you. Uh, let's see. Uh, very good swimmer. Um, likes to eat uh, their fruits and vegetables so they can live for a long time. 
so I can live forever. Um, <laughs> I need to be one of those immortal girlfriends. <laughs> immortal girlfriend? Um, let's see. Dude, you know, I heard those those Korean girls, they're like immortal, dude. Really? It's probably because they, like, turn off the fan at night, so, like, <laughs> the bad air. You know, Andrew, like, like he doesn't believe in that, but, like... It's like a thing that's in the back of your mind. Yeah, it is, because Andrew, like, he just got a car, or fucking license, and they got a car, like, a thousand dollar car, like, a couple days later. So he has, like, some shitty car, and, um, I, he was driving me, and then he said, like, uh, he turned the car off. And then he said, like, oh, wait. And he turns the car, not all the way on, but he turns the ignition on so he can, like, mess the stuff. He turns off the air conditioning, as in, even though it turned off, when he turned off the car, he turns the car on just to turn off, so that the next time he turns it on, he has to turn it back on again. I say, Andrew, why do you do that? And he's like, I don't know. My grandma just tells me to do it, and I got in the habit. I was like, is this, I was like, does this go back to the roots of the fucking Korean, like, myth or whatever? Like, don't let your fan go on overnight. Because the air will be sucked out of you. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it, it reduces the air pressure <laughs> in the room and it collapses your lungs. Yeah. It's like you're being sucked into the vacuum of space. Okay, what other features? Oh. Strong face. Strong how? Um, like manly. Um, a little bit of arm hair action going on. Uh, very strong calves, like ridiculously strong. Mm -hmm. uh, um, no chest, like an arm, <laughs> like just abs and a head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Kirby, body like Kirby, as in a torso and then like feet and like hands connected and a head. No, head is on the torso. Um, are you getting what I'm like picturing? You know, you like yeah, an yeah. idea. Um, I mean, just off the top of my head, like I haven't met anyone. Yet. I just got killed. I mean, you got any brighter ideas, or you, you can mostly agree with me? Oh, well, someone I date will need to have skin like the hue of you know, like on um, you know, like when you wipe uh, when you're like cleaning your bathroom, mm -hmm. and you, you 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 wipe down your sink with like a antiseptic wipe. And it has like that residue on it after, like when you're wiping down uh -huh. at like a desk at school. Their skin needs to look like that. <laughs> like, like the the. I forgot how teachers make you do that in elementary school. Yeah. They'd like, oh yeah, like every other like other, every other Friday, they just give you a bunch of wipes and tell you to wipe down your fucking desk because you're a bunch of dirty ass kids. <laughs> Can know, we talk about kids over. for a minute? <laughs> kids, kids are so stupid. <laughs> it's dude, like I uh. I went to Yosemite recently with uh, Oh my yeah, friend. how was that? It was, it was good, but it was with my friend, and his friend has a like three-year-old little brother who's actually absolutely a goon. So like, I don't know. He's he can talk and he can like walk around, and he's like functional. But that's about it, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to remember anything funny he did. Like one time we were gonna go for a bike ride real quick because like, it's like a five-minute bike ride to the, to the to the shop, you know. Cause we're gonna get like a cookie sandwich, you know, just whatever, some dessert. And um, so we're like, oh, let's ride our bikes really quick because it closes in 10 minutes. So, but as soon as we leave, um, this kid has like um, his own tiny personal baby bike, as in like, um, it doesn't have pedals, but he's short enough for his feet to touch the ground. So he'll just like run on it and the wheels will like move it, like propel him forward. So literally he, see, like, he sees us getting on his bikes and he immediately puts it on. He just kits on it and goes. And then I'm like, I'm like Preston, you can't come with us. Like, and he's like, why? And we're like, it's just the same kid who did the tire song. Yes, it is the kid who did the tire song. Like, yes. Tire, just, tire, tire turns around. Tire, tire turns around. This was like that. And then it, sometimes it said tire always drive. That was uh, wasn't it always turning. Something like that. Like, always always turn. turning. Yeah. And then he just that's the song. He also with his bike. His bike has a light on it, and he pretends that his bike is a car. So, like, it'll be daytime, and he turns on his light. You, that Febreze went all over me. I feel it falling on myself. Yeah, you smell good. It probably is all in my water now. Nice. Anyway, so this kid, um, he leaves the light on because he said, no, this light is what powers my car. This is what turns on my car. And I'm like, I turn it off, and he's like, now I can't drive my car. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> and he just turns it back on. I'm like, Preston, you're wasting your light. And he's like, no, I need it, to, I need it for the car to go. And he's just like, I guess he's an imaginative child, but I'm seriously like, you are stupid, dude. You're gonna like waste so many batteries. <laughs> See, I because I've never grown up with any younger siblings, so every child to me is just stupid as hell. <laughs> That's all I can see them as. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, that doesn't make any sense. 
<laughs> like whenever kids like, oh hey Davis, like Andrew and stuff can talk to him because he's like always had three younger siblings. Yeah, he's just like, hey, what what's up? We want to play. Mm -hmm. But with me, I'm just like, hi, uh, <laughs> hey little child. Want to talk about my econ homework? I'm learning about checks. <laughs> like I I don't know what to do around children. Yeah, I'm trying to. Remember nothing but temptation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, he's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. It's it's weird being and then like Cameron's little brother too is about the same age. And then he <laughs> hates me. <laughs> it's such a like polar opposite because like this little um Zach's little brother, Preston, he like idolizes me. He thinks I'm a god. Probably cause like I see him like very occasionally, like once a year, like just just enough to like like not have to deal with him and just be like, oh, cute kind of baby, you know. He's like stupid, <laughs> cute baby. <laughs> but like, for his parents and his brother, they know he's a, he, they know that he, he's like, st <laughs> he's just a little baby child who's unnecessarily needy and like, I don't know. That's what I'm. So like. they obviously like are done with his bullshit, right? Yeah. So I feel like I, I'm the only one who deals with them. So he's like, a, he's like grown to like me. Because <laughs> I'll be like, okay, what's up, dude? And like. It was also funny too, cause when um when he when he came to um my house for the first time, like uh, with like his family and everything, my dog like tried humping him, and then like he didn't know what was happening. He was like doggy, and then uh, he uh, his mom was like, oh don't don't talk to that dog person. Uh, she thinks you're his uh, B I T C H, and he was like, I'm not. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's what he said. He's like, I'm not. I did not. And now he has two teddy bears that he's in love with, dude. And now he has two testicles. <laughs> He's hit that great. He's hit that age. He's finally grown them out. He's gained his wisdom. I know. My dad tells me, my parents tell me that as a baby I was like an asshole and my sister was super nice, but now the roles have reversed and now she is a problematic child and I am the perfect son. <laughs> perfect son. The most wonderful son there is. Yeah. The one most wonderful son they've ever had. And will ever have, for that matter. Will not allow so, another. As far as, I'll do everything in my power. <laughs> I saw three bears that day. Or no, yeah, no, I saw four bears that trip. In the real wildlife. Wow. It was like, stop. We're like, we went during the, like, after the summertime, so everything was kind of dried up. Like, some of the rivers were just, like, tiny. So, um, we were, like, at the top of, like, the river goes super deep. So, at the bottom, like, we're at the top of the river, the, the bed of the river, we looked over and there's, like, three, like, a mama bear and then two baby bears, like, walking at the at the bottom of it. And everyone was like, oh my god, look at these bears, there's a ton of tourists taking pictures and shit, like, observing them. And then my uh, mom's boyfriend, who's with us, was like, yeah, those bears are not gonna make it through the winter. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, they're for sure gonna die. And I was like, what? And he's like, look at them, look how skinny they are. They only have a couple months before they have to hibernate. They're not gonna make it. And I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, I... <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> I, 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 really I put it into perspective for me. I know. I totally get what you mean. Oh, what else did we do in Yosemite? The squirrels are super friendly. We hand fed them uh, hot Cheetos <laughs> and pet them. Yeah. I'm not joking. Really I have a video of us petting a squirrel. Hot Cheetos. Yeah. Those things, Those those are what's gonna die. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what the. Oh, because my mom's boyfriend used to be a park ranger, and then he was like, "Guys." Oh, okay. At least he's at least. Yeah, he's not like knows. an asshole. Like he knows he's talking. He's like, "Guys, okay. you I are thought, the I thought you're... squirrels are super friendly. They're gonna like die in the winter because there's no humans to like feed them." <laughs> okay, I thought the bear thing. He was just saying it out of nowhere. I was like, "Okay." Well, but it is true, and I was just like, "I guess you're right." <laughs> we should sacrifice one of the tourists to help him make it through. <laughs> so I, I mentioned that I saw four bears. <sighs> Um, I've only mentioned three so far, and, uh... Ah. <laughs> so, we were driving out of Yosemite, and, um... The car was going very fast. And we were on a one-way road. One-way well, one road. road. <laughs> one-way road. Fool you. We were on a one-way road. But, um, a bear just ran straight past us, like, right, like, super fast. Like, the bear went it was right like, in front of the car. It was car. like the speed of a cheetah. Basically, dude. Could you imagine if bears went that fast? Dude, bears are actually crazy. Like, the part of people always talk about, like, how careful you have to be. Because, um, they are faster than you. They are super silent. Like, I guess something about their paws are, like, padded or something. Like, you can't hear them. You know? And, um, obviously they're bears. They weigh more than you. Mm -hmm. And they're very deadly. And they're faster and they can climb. So, and they'll do anything to protect their children. <laughs> And the, the baby bears actually can't control their venom yet, so they're the most dangerous. 